they're pretty slow in their movement. So I think I'll be okay. Oh god. Yeah, if King Seal 2 is canon, then technology is not what it might seem to be. There's weird ass computer science in this world, and I don't know how that makes any consistency. Also, since we got the fire um, crystal, I think our magic charges up a lot more faster than before. It definitely does. I think it was really worth it getting that thing early on. I don't know if it was even early. Okay, let's check all these walls because this is somewhere that I would imagine a lot of people just try to run past. It seems like there's nothing here. Very reminiscent of the Earth Spirit Cave in Kingsfield 2. A uh, difficulty jump, as well as fully roamed with a lot of elementals. Fully plagued with a lot of elementals. Might run out of healing. Oh, it's getting darker. Alright. Um, oh god. Oh, it's homing fire. Alright, let's go in. Yep, it's stone face again. The very exact same design. Oh god. That does a lot of damage. Can they hit me from here? I know I can kill them. In the original game, you couldn't kill Stoneface, but it seems like the, from the starting from the second game, Stoneface are in fact defeatable. In some cases, really revealing a secret wall behind it. So, it's definitely worth killing them. Oh, it's sealed. Interesting. Ha! Ambush. Still haven't found like not even one torch. Got him. The sword is awesome. Let me see the sword again. Capricorn. That's really good. Oh god. Oh, hello, demon. I'm not gonna cast fire on you. First one. Go. This was a very obscure mechanic in the uh, King's Field 2. Oh, I guess I have to light all the torches before I get any treasure. Interesting. Okay. Okay, time to move it. Let's chuck through the lowest place. One more hit. 
All right, another one. How many are there? Oh, missed it. There we go. The Wind Mansion. The key is wind magic. Whoever who doesn't have that power is not permitted to enter. A lot of the, uh... oh right, a lot of the um, torches that Twedek, who served Harbine, are still left within the dungeon. I saw those monsters he created too. So that's why there's fire elemental ma monsters, because Twedek is involved in the creation of this dungeon. Let's go ahead and use one more of these. In fact, you have three of them. Huh. Oh right, I found it in the... Um the back of the uh, royal tomb in the first village. Completely forgot about that. Oh, now I oh, you guys killed each other. <laughs> well, good job. Still gotta get used to how they don't um, flinch after dealing a hit. They don't drop a lot of gold, but I'm sure they drop a lot of experience. Okay, well this isn't a uh, torch room. Yeah, now I'm kind of glad that Rogaland started up with light spell. I hate dark corridors and it just makes me a little uneasy and scared that I'll miss something. Okay, so let's go top, right, 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 all the way to the east. Right. Let's ignore you for now. All right, that's all the damage. I don't want to take too much. Oh, I probably shouldn't fight this one right now, but since we're here already, I guess I should anyway. Damn it, Swedek. Stop with your shenanigans. In fact, since this is a mansion and not like a labyrinth, I think the layout might be quite predictable. Oh, I take that back. Alright. <sighs> there we go. This is like our first real dungeon in the game. So there might be an actual boss in here. Who knows? Everything is just so unexpected in Kingsfield. It's so hard to really format, which is good because the last thing we want in tier list is formatting. I love randomness and tier list is a bit more um, too formatted in terms of comparison with other games, other um, other um, channel cons or the video that I'm creating. So I'm glad there's quite a bit of randomness. Ow. Okay, okay, got it. I'll, I'll leave. Um, okay, another big question is... Are you guarding a torch? You might be. If you are. Oh, that stone face on the right? Oh, that was easy. I think the wind magic hit him. Okay, how about now? Can you open it? Nope. Okay, just a little bit more, hopefully. Okay. Hello. Let's 
Buffy Armored Core. They look really like, they really similar to the Armored Core cover art um, machines. I saw the normal machines in the game, so I feel like this is a uh, subtle reference to their other creations, which is not even created yet. Yeah, Armored Core hasn't been invented at this point, so I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just japing. All right, let's not die here. Heat Capricorn. Yes. Oh god, they launched forward real far. This guy's quite tough. Alright. Let's use the light again. Quite the expansive map this is. You know, one thing I really liked about Kingsfield 1 is how enemies walking out of invisible walls indicated that there is an invisible wall and the game was designed so you can slowly figure out where invisible walls are when you see things like swords like sticking out of a weird location. I feel like I haven't seen that in any of these two later games, so that might be a small negative for me. Oh god, why are you in here? Please, don't. Um... Okay, we're fine. Alright. Oh god, you're doing heavy damage, aren't you? That's so fast. Oh, I killed it with fire. Yep, killing fire with fire. Literally. Okay, with that depressing joke out of the way. I like how there's like no poison or curse or anything like that here. I love that factor, because holy shit, it's like my least favorite mechanic in Kingfield. Especially the dark that lasted forever. Maybe don't do that again, game. That's not, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not, ew, wait a minute, what is this room? It's not like secret. Smells like secret. Ooh, my fire magic increased. So it does work like that too. Okay, that's good to know. There's gotta be something here. Or is it just a dead end? Uh, yeah, it could be either way. Okay, it's a dead end. Oh, I'm near death. Okay. Good catch. Oof. That was very dangerous. Um... What if all these torches were timed? Like, <laughs> that would be horrifying. <laughs> A lot more of them. It's like the Temple of Wind and Fire, like in um, Rayman. Where it's Temple of something and something like Fire and Rock, Ice and something. I forgot all of them, but this dungeon involved both of them, so it's kind of interesting. Of course, we'll have to backtrack to all these places afterwards. 
don't need to save at this point. I'll be fine. There it is. This do 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 effect, right? That's very reminiscent of um, Shin Megami Tensei's dungeon scene. I'll play it here just a little bit. You know how I mean? <laughs> you know you know what I mean? And since that music plays not just in Shin Megami One Two. But I believe even in Shin Megami, no, not in If. If has distinct dungeon music for each dungeon. But the uh, dungeon theme is the same for one and two, so you hear that for a long ass time. So it really sticks to you, and I, that's all I can think about when I hear that do 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 do, -do effect. So <laughs> I just want to share my agony with you. But I'm gonna play that game eventually. Just needs the right, um, need the right way to um segue to that game because it's not a very fun game when you're revisiting it in fact no i'm i'm actually oh god you are the reaper first time i've seen the reaper interesting um they curse you i hate curse we're not gonna deal with that first time playing shin megami is the worst second time playing is okay but since everything is just um all the spoilers have been spoiled for you it's not as dramatic but even though um some of the details that you're supposed to keep attention, like keep pay attention to, in order to beat the game, it's just too goddamn obscure to fathom how someone could possibly beat that game blind. All right, a few more. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my final water. I think we'll be fine. There might be a boss. Who knows? Stone faces. Sure. Okay, we're about to die. And this is the point where I say, let's come back here. Because we have to go refetch all the items in here anyway. I'm gonna warp back and um, yeah, come back here because uh, <laughs> I want to be safe. I don't want to risk everything like that. Aren't you looking for Ishiru's key? <laughs> Ishiru's key? Then the crown of Ishiru's is what uh, my father has. But ever since she went to get the Gaharan Hebromios, Gaharan Hebromios. Garen Hebromeus. Get ga the Oh, ever since he went to Garen to get the Bromeus. Bromeus. That's how you read it. He hasn't come back since then. Cool story. Can I buy some potions? Bromeus is a legendary metallic. Um, a le legendary um, special metal used by the door from the old ages. But. Even though. Even if it's such a rare item, I don't want anyone to lose their life over it. Yeah, yeah. Also, I think your father doesn't want you to wear scandalous clothes like that. Anyway, Garen is a very dangerous place, and I'm just so worried about him. It's okay, we'll go there eventually. My dad was very friendly with the king. He always often talked about his travel stories to him. He was one of the few people who was always allowed to go into cast whenever he wanted to, and that's why I know that the King was a really good person. Mm hmm. Yeah. My king. Or, when the f when my father and king was talking with each other, he was also walking around with Lord Aleph as well. The um, courtyard in the castle was very pretty with a lot of flowers. 
All right. One last time. Wind Mansion. Let's go. If I had a special ability, it would be my urine is plutonium. Windcrest. The Sage of the Wind. I guess there's a few more torches left, maybe? Or do we have to redo every single torch once we leave the dungeon once? Oh god, that might be the case. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, 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 oh! That's a lot of damage. Okay, we're out. Okay, I feel like I messed up. I feel like I was not supposed to leave like that. Let's go check. Before we do that though, let's kill these stone faces. Ow. One hit. Man, Capricorn is a bomb. Please be lit, please be lit. Okay, it is lit. Let's see if we can open the treasure chest, actually. Ow. Please don't hit me like that. Why you do this? Why you dodge my move? No, you don't. Wait, how are you still alive? Still sealed. Hmm. Did I miss one? Shit, I think I missed one. Alright, here we go. Yep. Yep. Lock sound. I think we're ready to get it. Let's start with this side. I'm sure a handful of these treasure chests are going to be traps. Oh, wait a minute. Talk of the devil. Story progression. And I think it's a uh, woman. After long last, I will fulfill Aleph's wish. You will get, now be bestowed the wind magic. It's gotta be the wind cutter, right? By the way, I think that's my favorite like character so far. It must it might be a small step first, but once you go far enough, it'll be a big step to the right direction. I'll leave this place for a while. Okay. Now we have a new magic. Can now cast Wind Cutter. Nice. 
Huh. Look how powerful my wind magic is. It's 95. What the hell? What, is it because of Capricorn? Wait. Why is my wind magic so high? Is it, it's, it must be because of that necklace, right? 95 wind magic? No, wait, why? Why is it so high? That's so weird. 95 wind magic? That's intense. Should I be using wind then? Oh god. Every time I get hit by that, I'm in, put in a situation where I have to use a 250 gold item. Okay, one hit. Oh wow, that charges really fast. I think that's two hits. That's three hits. Four hits. Five hits. Six hits. Okay, this is taking a little bit more than I thought it would take. Seven hits. It's about the same actually, so I'm not sure if it's that different. Oh well. Miss down. Well, this mansion doesn't have a lot of secret doors. In fact, none so far. It's very generous for the developers. They could have easily hit like a torch somewhere in this vast dungeon. Okay, we're done here. Let's move on. You can say that Kingsfield 1 and 2 is the prologue section of The Witcher 3, whereas the main game is this game. This game is what you were preparing for because difficulty-wise, KF1 was not difficult because you can infinitely buy potion with how much money you find and because there's no use for money otherwise, you just heal out of every combat situation you, you encounter. Also the <laughs> spell sword glitch is really powerful. And then Kingsfield 2, every enemy gets stunlocked by every attack and a fast magic, so you never can possibly lose unless you get swarmed by three enemies at once or get paralyzed, paralyzed by a termite. But that game was super easy. It's one of the most easiest games I ever played on PlayStation. In terms of combat, um, the, the navigation and figuring out what you have to do by backtracking, that part is a nightmare. And um, this game finally fixes the combat, which is why I have to talk about Vitality, the way Kingsfield makes this game hard to sequence break. Now, I think this game is so open-ended, I did compare it to Dark Souls 2, that you can't possibly sequence break. But the thing is, if you recall in Kingsfield 1, when I went into the secret area at the very beginning where you find the skeleton to find the leather shield at the very beginning, the skeleton will deal like 90 damage when you only have about 100 health. 100 health. Just enough where you can take one damage, and then realize you can't fight this guy right now and go back, as the developer intended. That's intentional because vitality level ups are exponential. The vitality will increase every time you hit an enemy. Specifically, your vitality, vitality experience points will increase every time you hit an enemy. In Kingsfield 1, magic point and vitality increase to how many times you hit, where in Kingsfield 2 and on, I think it's how many damage you deal. This is notable because 
it's different to level up where level up can be boosted up with fighting stronger enemies. Stronger enemies yield higher experience points, giving you more level up soon. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'm fairly sure that vitality is only determined by how much damage you deal. It doesn't matter how strong the enemy is. This is good in two ways. Number one, scrub players can level up their vitality over and over and over so that they can survive a lot of hits from later game enemies. Number two, going into late game area early, which you are able to do in this game, will give you a rude awakening on how much damage these enemies are going to be dealing which will tell you that you're not supposed to be here right now unless you level up your vitality more and vitality again will increase as you hit the enemies more and more and more so it's really a stepometer od odometer is that what it's called pedometer it's a pedometer for locking areas without locking the area it's a really good design also also enemies have hyper armor Enemies like the Reaper, reintroduced from the original game, can now just tank through your hits. Also, the Skeletons really tank through your hit. I think the Skeletons are like the first introduction to attack animation hyper armor. It is really, really difficult to play around it. So the combat right now is made so much more difficult. And luckily, unlike the other games, the Fountain you can access immediately. This game really wants you to use the magic because enemies will now play around your playing style no matter what. The combat is great. This game is by far the best King Seals game by a long shot. We're in the cave right now. We also talked to Harbine's servant who mentioned the Muradin, uh, the sword, the katana that was in King Seal 2, the weapon that is for Harbine the third. And there's another weapon that Harbine III bestowed, which was the Dragon Tooth. The Dragon Tooth is somewhere in the game, and I want to find it. He mentioned that he left it somewhere in a village where you can see the ocean, so we'll be looking forward to that. We also encounter the Garudas, the servants of Oruladin, the ancient mage who initially brought about the existence of Isiriel. Isiriuth, I, I keep... I'm always about to say Istael when I say that word, so I'm trying my best. If you use a mirror on them, it will reveal that they're not really hostile. They are just doing mundane tasks in Ruludin's lair or something. But they don't have a lot of high damaging capabilities. You're supposed to ignore them. They have infinite health pretty much. They have super high health. And we're... I'm just going to cut over the whole bulk of this cave. It's the lighthouse cave where they used to store their treasures and uh, travel around the continent. This cave will spans a lot of the areas. It, it's basically the segues to different areas while neglecting skyboxes. So um, you will find yourself in completely different terrains and whenever you come out of these caves, which is really cool. In fact, my favorite music slash area of Kingsfield period is about to be our next destination. So I can't wait to get to that. But uh, I'll just resume gameplay here. We'll be fighting an interesting enemy. Um, there are a lot of references of Dark Souls 2 in King's Field 3, and I think this is where it starts to begin showing. So, I hope you enjoy those as you find it. I don't know how many of the population of the world has played Dark Souls 2 to completion, but I, I love that game, so it's a blast coming back to this game after playing it for so long. Dark Souls 2 is a game I only recently played, so that's why going back to this game in editing and playing eventually. It's, it's gonna be a blast because I'll, I'll get to know so much more references that I didn't realize before. It'll be great and uh, I'll make some cutaways too. To, to Dark Souls 2. Uh, my workload is never gonna stop. I guess those are Triangular Bob is the prized um, selling point of the PlayStation. Oh god. Use water, use water, move left, dodge. Dashing at the right time is quite important in combat in this game. You want to stay close because you don't want them to cast more magic. This is a primary magic user. Let's use um, another water. That fire homing is kind of dumb. Alright, and we got a boss loot. A fire crystal. 
Yeah, you told me that's not a boss. It's it's a boss. It's it's probably not a boss. It's a boss. Okay, more of the same thing, I guess. Where are we now? How did I get poisoned again? This game doesn't make any sense sometimes. Oh, we're at the Oceanside Village. Oh, this is such a nice change of pace. No L. Um, no L Lake. Hello. A lot of girls in this game. I am a traveling merchant. Tim. God damn it! Alright, Kingsfield 3. I hope you learned your mistakes from Kingsfield 2 about horrible, horrible water sections. Let's see if you learned anything. Hopefully a save point. Oh, thank god. Oh, are you Meryl? No, you're not. Who are you? I am the keeper of this lake. In this lake, long ago, Orredon put up a water bridge. The only br boots that can go over these bridges are the aquarium boots. Whoops. I'm gonna go um, sit by Tim outside and just uh, sleep here for a while. 